Hey everyone, no response here. I hope you're having a grand week. So I finally sat down and actually made something uh, with the recent-ish prefab that you got as a reward if you're a Fallout First subscriber. This is, I think it's just called the Pirate Ship, but there's a Sea Legs and a Landlubber version of it. Um, if you're curious of the difference, the Sea Legs one technically is better for water, but it's actually not. Um, I This is the Landlubber version, it's better, and you can place three of them. It's nice they gave the option, but I think because of the way that things interact with water, it tends to get a little bit confused, whereas the Land Lumber version still has the spokes at the bottom, so you can place it, as you can see, quite comfortably on water. I adore this. Um, really, really good. They've been generally quite good with their prefabs recently. They're, they're much better designed. Uh, there's no kind of weird mesh issues on the inside. My big issue with a lot of them is that they make them too big. I've mentioned this before, but I do like... Pretty much, I want my house to have one room. It's basically a... <laughs> almost a, a big studio apartment. Because <laughs> uh, I like the idea of kind of clutter. And it also gives me, as you can see, more remit to actually kind of decorate the outside. Um, this one, I actually still have around a quarter to nearly a third of my build budget left. So, I'm probably going to build this one up quite a lot. Like, I've got this little area here. I might kind of build around the front a little bit. But overall, I, I really, really like this a lot. Um, the only issue, I guess, was maybe placing it can be a little bit of a chore. But other than that, it's it's, it's really, really grand. So let me show you where I am. Um, I haven't actually renamed it yet. It's still named Compound, so I need to rename it at some point. It's right next to my water camp. Incidentally, I didn't realise you could place two camps this close together. Because, like, my other water camp is, is there. It's like where that tree is, that's where my water camp is. And I just moved this over here. So, mm, interesting. I've got these little areas here, so I like... So, for those who watched my last video, I did make some kind of quite cool, I think, quite cool custom junk walls using various shenanigans, named mainly defense pieces, and then, as you can see, those barred windows and the boarded window pieces to make something a little bit more custom and a little bit more saucy. I quite like it. I've got my little water purifiers, because I, I like using water purifiers as decoration. I deliberately spread them out, as you probably noticed. Um, right down. And I really like this a lot. So one thing I miss immensely, and it was building this little area here. So these little pieces are from the encampment set. Um, it was on sale recently. It comes back fairly regularly, but they're really, really good as kind of... They're meant to be bridges, but I use them as structural elements all the time. But anyway, I like this little area here. It's very cool, but obviously I have to jump to it. In Fallout 4, for those of you who, who have played, one or two of you may have heard of it. Um, one of the pieces you get is two different bridge pieces that you can just put on. They're like floor pieces that, that just look a little bit more textured. And, man, I really wish I have them. They would look so good with those on there right now. Also, I kind of wish we could maybe just put, you know, those kind of half floor pieces down without having to snap them to stairs. But, apparently, that's too much of an ask. And I've also got this little area here, which you're going to hear that noise of these very excitable... Mole rats, so I love these mole rat generators. Honestly, I don't need to. I've got actually got a bigger generator over there. I just think it looks cool having one side. So they're so grand. I love them to bits. So let's pop inside. Actually, let's pop outside quickly. So I have, I have made a little area at the side here. Honestly, I just God, I get stuck. I should have made that point quicker. Ah, I'm stuck again. All right, so I've got a very very efficient walkway there, plus my shower, <laughs> which to be fair is where my character lives mostly. But let's be honest, if the video was just me staring at this. Um, the actual shout looks very nice. Um, you have to search for it. I can't be isolating the video, but yes, um, most of my work is done there. And it's cute. It's just and a shout. Bethesda, if you could give us um, a decent loo, that would be cool. They've got technically one that looks quite cool, but it's got a mole rat in the toilet, and I don't like that. Right, okay. So the inside is the perfect size. I absolutely adore it. You can make something look really, really cozy. This is kind of, you know, if those who watch a lot of my videos know, this is kind of how I like to decorate. I want one room that I can look really, really homely, very much lots of clutter, and just kind of give it that wholesome... Maybe it's just because I've lived in London for so long that I'm used to having tiny-ass apartments and therefore no space. <laughs> oh, that, that's a mood. Um, but my, you know, existential crisis about where I live aside, yeah, I do like tiny little rooms with loads of clutter. And I like the fact that I have so much clutter left. This will probably be one of my permanent bases, I think. So I've got this one, and you've probably seen the Swamp Shack. Um, if you haven't, you'll see it again, because I'm never getting rid of this one. I think this one, I might get rid of my war camp, to be honest, and rename that to, I don't know, Ship Camp or something. But it's awesome, I really, really like it, because there's just... I just have room to put... I have room for activities in terms of decoration. It's very nice. 
Now up here, I always have Waifu here. And I like the fact that Waifu's little station, um, I'm calling her Waifu because her name's Spanish and I always brutalize the pronunciation of her name. I'm not gonna do it, right? Okay, but it's also that guy who took photos that one time. Um, <laughs> and I like the fact that I can put her little station here. And also because this prefab is like well designed, she doesn't get confused. She actually walks around, which is quite nice. She does get, she doesn't tend to walk down the stairs, but she doesn't get stuck and like teleport out, which I quite like. And then I'm... Okay, I'm stuck in... Okay, I'm stuck. Just, just hanging myself. That, that's another mood there. I, I know. <laughs> I'm not... I'm not depressed. It's fine. My character just apparently is. Anyway. So I've got this little area here. Honestly, I, I will do more with this. I was just wanting a place I could just cook up booze and sit down and watch it. Um, but it is a nice little space. There was a little bit of um an issue because I initially tried to put this in the corner here and it was uh, oh it's clipping it's clipping it's clipping so just as a bear in mind but to be honest I think it's more just the the nuances of this specific structure and you do have the crow's nest and then you have this little section here which technically you can't build in effectively but as you can see I was able to shove through one of the old little solar panels so it's quite cool and the uh, the little sign you can just place stuff on so I just put central because I always name my thing central and I've obviously got the old no respawns there. So overall, this is a really good camp. Um, I don't know if it's still available, to be utterly frank. It is only available to Fallout First users. Not trying to pressure you, but this was pretty cool. To be fair, if you've not had any interest in Fallout First, this is the first time we've got something really this good. Most of the other camp stuff tends to be little things or um, skins for your little... What do you call it? That thing. What's it called again? Survival tent, that's what it's called. Uh, skins for your survival tent. So this is the first time I've actually got a decent prefab, to my knowledge, unless I've just missed one. And it's quite cool, though, so if you haven't claimed it yet and it's still available, please pick it up, because I'll feel bad um, showing you this and you can't do anything with it. Um, but I love this, and definitely a permanent addition to the camp, honestly. And I think I'm going to maybe build some more stuff. So, anywho, let me know what you think and what you've done with this. Uh, people like to tag me in Instagram posts. Please continue doing this. Um, I still use Twitter quite a bit for rambling, but, you know, it is kind of on ice, you may have heard, um, in terms of whether it's going to suddenly implode. Um, so, if you haven't already, you can follow me on Instagram, at no respawns. It's lots of travel pictures. I like pictures of my food. I post when I go live and also when I've uploaded a new video, plus... This is sort of a guilt promise to myself. You will see lots of my Warhammer painting, which hypothetically I've been very lazy this year. So maybe over the weekend you might see my new Cordor gang in, from Necromunda, if that is your bag. Um, I will be streaming this weekend, probably Skyrim, because it's the cold month and we need to stream some Skyrim. Uh, next week I also need to stream more New Vegas and I was going to do some Long Dark as well. So lots of stuff. It's going to be good though. I'm back from holiday. Well, back from holiday abroad, and now I'm on a different holiday where I'm at home, so I actually have really, you know, free time to do stuff. Anywho, I love you all. Have a grand week, and I'll speak to you lovely bunch soon. You take care.